Actually, Ross, Ross, what, Ross, 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 Steel, Ross, 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 uh, the problem there is that you just going to wear away the wheel. And as I got smaller, it then will put areas into the front of the system. But it's a nice sort of smooth, smooth surface. And I tried to steal wheels on the end. Well, I did a PhD in this. Yeah, so remember these machines are designed to work in the space on the time. Rely on it. Out at sea. So you've got the tides and not still one. Anybody else? Now, that's a good question. Go on, Ian. Yes. Um, it's actually the that needs to be exactly the same as the industry. They have to be. They have to be. Sort of all to actually go through to your outstretch. And sorry, it's the, the problem is that if you, find it if you, it, if you find use a different yeah. size of yeah. 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 the same yeah. 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 It is it's and on my original one, I actually used uh, a smaller wheel uh, to give me a one-to-one -one relationship between the wheel and the building, hence the scaling factor here. So when you're talking about actually something to do about it, you've got to have a rough idea of the scaling factors you need to put yeah, well, so the, the output I mean, the most of it uh, is actually Carry on, because we've got another question. Go on. Uh, yeah, 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 but I, I, I don't yeah, see any reason why you should be glad to press the switch. Yes, indeed. So in a moment, um, when Ian's ready, we'll get you to press the bicycle button and it will start it off. No, and I think that's part of the beauty of the design of this machine. Because we're actually using a teeth of mesh, there can be no slip. The only slip is in these wheels. So a chain has a discrete number of teeth, meshing has a discrete number of teeth, actually these chains and you know, that's just three foot here. And as long as the, uh, the uh, number of rotations uh, of each particular axis is what we expect it to be, and stays constant, because they do because they're here, then there are no errors. Um, yeah. association. And that's how the thing is. We're going to come back to the And when we finish this, um, if and the graph doesn't like it, quite we can measure what yeah. the inaccuracy yeah. today yeah. is for yeah. you guys breathing yeah. 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 So what yeah. we actually yeah. said, yeah. we're ready to press the switch unit. So that's just like this equation here. And the distance between the center of the disk and the... So what he is doing yeah. is this is an actually the radius of the circle. This is the radius of the circle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this thing is calibrated so that the current flowing through your little sensor at the end uh, is known to be in the same way. You can't make it to read it. And over that range of temperatures, it's fairly accurate. But it's the sensor that's been accurate. This is the effect of our sensor. And it's, that's the weak link. Go on. Very large. Because I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing back that it's still small. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, you can get it on take. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because right. it will be quicker since it's yeah. smaller. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, we're ready to. to Would you like to down. show the young man which button to press and which one? Push that one that way. That far one? That one there. Off push you go. No, Tom, would you like to just take a picture? Where's Tom? Yeah. And that, that one there. The other one. So at the moment, we've got an X table and a Y table. Is that right, Ian? Yes. And so, uh, like all good graphics programs, if anybody's played Space Invaders or anything like that, your horizontal axis is, say, the X, and your vertical axis is the Y. And what we're going to do is we're going to move around uh, in a circle. So we're going to have a changing number of values of X. X is going to reach one minute, and we're going to start increasing Y. And you do both at the same time, is that? That's not operating. Oh, well, that's introduced an error. <laughs> okay, so we know that we've not started the machine directly, so we're going to get to the It should be okay because it's a straight line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, generating this circle. Uh, is actually used not just by this machine, but by a number of machines. Um, I remember setting up a potting machine, and uh, even your test card, on your TV. I don't know how many of you remember the, the good old days of the cathode ray tube, where you had this giant lump of the TV. It wasn't a flat screen, the giant lump of the TV with a cathode ray tube. <laughs> so you, you send an electron beam down from the back of the TV to the front of the screen, and the TV screen was made up of scanning lines, so that scanning process could get larger or smaller depending on faults in the TV, and the vertical scale could also not be reflected correctly. So those are errors in X and in Y in old TV screens were completely adjustable. So you have things what was called vertical hold and horizontal hold, vertical height and horizontal width. You have those results on the back of your TV. I've actually fixed them years ago, but I haven't, I haven't known perhaps a little longer than I, I might appear. And I have to fix the things like that. And the reason why your, the, the, the test card that used to be displayed on BBC television uh, overnight, every night, the reason why I had a circle in the middle is so that you could get your X width and your Y height exactly right. And that's exactly why the test card has um, that circle in the middle. As a smaller matter of historical interest, uh, I have a drinking partner called Richard, and Richard and I go for a drink every so often. His surname is Percy, Richard Percy. His cousin is Carol Percy, and that's the girl who was in the middle of the test <laughs> Just one of those trivial things.
So you would get um, a differential equation multiplied by a differential equation. Go on. I, I, I don't quite have the intuition yet, but I think that if you put it in the sign instead of that, well, then you might be able to get it that way. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not sure if you can get this parabola, but yeah. yeah. It's something like that. Yeah. You've got to learn which one of the If we were to sign wave into that, we would integrate it and get a close wave. Yeah. You've got x and y. <laughs> so, if you've written up your circle with sine cosine, one step to this point, this is why we've got it. That's why I think we're a Right, that's what we mean. Now, I'm not sure if we've been asked that before. In a way, if you're dealing with linear graphics, the x is a sign and the y, sorry, the x is a sign and the y is a cosine. Yeah. The differential equation, you don't need to do that. Because you're exactly, you've got it. Yeah. So you've actually done more, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is a solution to that second-order differential. This is what you need to know about sine curve. Then you write more accurate. Yes. And I think that's why you've got 18 tables when you're at the thing. I think he's using, he's using exactly what you can break down that higher order of the river. Oh, yeah, it's a lower order. Yeah, very much so. And then combine it with the cosmological And yes, so it's now going down to a problem. But, yeah. we, to be honest, we've never had to solve um, any nuclear equations. So, uh, frankly, I, I hope you don't have to. Okay. So, go on. How many pieces of a problem? What do you want to guess? All right. How many pieces of a problem? Yeah. 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 Yeah